Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I want to do a video uh, taking a look at the day versus night performance on the Femi Pam 2 because if you're thinking about buying uh, this pocket gimbal, this is something really important to know about. And excuse the pun, it's literally day and night. So I did a video showing um, a more extensive overview of the Femi Pam 2, how it performs. This is a daytime performance. And as I've said, I find the colors really, really nice, really rich. Um, and clear and the image quality is great. I'm shooting in 1080p for the most part. So from this reel of clips, I chose this because it shows various lighting conditions. So as I was shooting these videos in Hula, this is my uh, Hula Birds video, the Hula Park in Israel, very beautiful nature reserve. So the sun was going down, I think at this point it's already sundown. Now these clips actually aren't edited, maybe a tiny bit of color correction, but so it's kind of fine up to a fairly low light level or at least workable. But for whatever reason, once it does get to like sundown slash nighttime, it's kind of rubbish. Uh, so these are some clips, um, you know, as I said, it's kind of sun is going down here and uh, images beginning to get a bit worse, but the, <laughs> the sky is to look nice there. Now there is, there is a setting in the camera for uh, 1080p 24L. The L stands for low lighting. So I've used that on a few occasions. And I have to be honest, I haven't really noticed a massive difference. So uh, this is some photography of the of birds just going across the camera lens, as I said, just coming towards Sunday. And we're gonna get to the actual clips I've taken at nighttime. I just wanted to have these in there for the purpose of comparison. All right, here's a clip now at nighttime. So this is me vlogging. I haven't used any of these clips because you can see it's just really, really grainy and there's not so much you can do with this. Now, obviously I've made no attempt to make this look good. That's important to note. I'm not using a light. I'm not using, I'm not doing anything in post-production. These are just uh, clips I'm not going to use for my camera reel. Here's a shot of a Hanukkah menorah. And you can see again, it just looks so grainy. Um, and now this is, this is more telling. This is just clips of me walking down a street in Jerusalem. So there is some uh, street lighting here to help us out. Again, no post-production, but if you compare the quality of this footage with the quality of the footage from the castle at the start of the video, it's like drastic. It also takes a while to respond to changes in light, as you might just have seen there. Um, just to remark again on the light conditions, so this is going down the main street in Jerusalem, so there's good backlighting, but look what happens when we go to like a little side street, right? Very, very dark. Um, finally, I just wanted to show, uh, is, it, is, it, is it work aroundable in pre-production? So this is me doing some vlogging at a salad bar. The start of that was me with no light. Now I'm using a little uh, camera light. The, and the, the purpose of this, sometimes I just make these test videos for myself to look back on. Um, I'm trying to position the light in different places to uh, to see how that looks. But even, even so, that's sort of better. Um, it was very, very poor. So basically my take on the Femi Pam 2 is I think by daytime it performs really, really well. But anybody thinking about buying this camera should know that the nighttime performance, in my experience so far, the low light performance is significantly degraded. And therefore, if you're looking at doing a lot of shooting with this camera, my feeling, my feeling would be personally that um, if I had another few hundred dollars, I would recommend going for the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 2, and I'm probably going to upgrade to that myself um, at some point in the future.